Nothing weird so far. <laughs> Nothing weird so far? The whole house just turned orange. <laughs> Maybe they don't see that. <laughs> oh, they, they were looking right at the book. What you talking about? They didn't see that. Uh, maybe only, uh, see that. Maybe they only look at, they look at right, open the book and look at right at it. Nothing weird so far. Oh shit! So I feel like that 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 moment right there. It's like oh, nothing weird so far. Then, yeah, yeah. I think it's more like a that's a joke. I thought that was I read that. That's like oh, it's comedy. It's yeah. subjective, I suppose. I, <laughs> you know, I hey, look. I'll, I'll make, you got you got yeah, I give it to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, I got give shit. I know. I know. I got give shit. It's like, I think that's badly written. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's supposed to be I funny, Corey. I'll give you respect. That's about it. <laughs> Respectfully disagree. I just don't okay. think that was. Yeah, that, I don't think that was edited that well. Double Toasted Live in Las Vegas is coming up very soon and tickets are selling fast. So get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com slash double dash toasted and join us for a night of comedy, music, games, and our after party. And we'll see you there soon. A lot of you millennials out there, even you Gen Z kids, a lot of you, you know, you were... You were raised by these three ugly skanks right here. At least two of them. Damn. <laughs> they're all beautiful in their own way to me. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of personality. Hocus poke us. You know, this is a this is a, a Halloween tradition for a lot of kids out there. A lot of kids who are growing up. A lot of kids who are still kids deep in Deep in their hearts. A lot of adults. <laughs> a lot of man children. A lot of, a lot of adults <laughs> need to move on with their lives. <laughs> Find a job. Your mamas, would be, your mamas would be disappointed in you over there. I don't care about my mama. I care about the, the Sandersons. That's all I care. No, I'm talking about these mamas right here. Oh. <laughs> I was not a kid who was raised on this after, re, after it was released from the theaters. But I do know. I do know that it means a lot. A lot. It is, a, it is considered not a cult classic, but a classic. And it means a lot to the children that grew up with this film. We're talking about three ancient hags versus the 20th century. How bad can it be? That bad, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the reason why a lot of people love this is because this is, I, I understand, I understand. Now, you know, to be honest with you, you know, I say a lot of people loved it. Oh, not those stuffy old critics out there. You know, those those adults at the time when this came out, man, they just didn't get it like the kids did. Yeah, they always want to rain on people's parades and not let them enjoy things. Yeah, exactly. You kids are stupid. This movie's not that great. You're just young and dumb. 38% on Rotten Tomatoes right there. That's the original Hocus Pocus. That's why I wanted to bring that up because I myself, you know, again, I watch this as an adult. And, you know, I also understand what it means to you. Sure. So I'm trying to go in with a fair and open mind while also trying to keep in mind, you know, also what what are the film making qualities and story making qualities that was lacking that made the critics not like it so much. And what you're dealing with here is Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker and your, what's your girl's name? Uh, Kathy Najine. Najime, yeah. Yeah, they play they play three witches. From what was it, 1693 Salem? Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm going to say what I, I'm going to say. What, I'm going to say what I have to say <laughs> about these. Always laughing. No, I'm gonna, yeah. I, always, I told you she was all crazy, jumping up and down. Mm -hmm. So many times I want to tell this movie, you calm your ass down. Mm -hmm. I mean, you fine as hell, but you know, goddamn. But no, you know, I'm going to not say too much about this because a lot of this is going to be revealed throughout the review that we're doing right here, which is our retro review for this. But they have come back 300 years later, at least at the time when this movie takes place. All those innocent people that you know were being hung and drowned and burned to the stake in Salem at the time, they are not those people. They said, we are witches and we are proud and we are up to no good. We'll get into the how I feel as we progress. But I will say at the beginning of this movie, I was very confused. <laughs> I, was, I was very lost because... I noticed Sister Sarah was in helping. I learned the child... Sarah Jessica Parker wasn't hot. I said, what the hell? <laughs> I ain't never seen this still from the movie. I said, what? I, that, all right. Points off already. That is not the chick that I know from Hocus Pocus. Now, what the hell is going on? But the movie started out and then they start sucking the life out, <laughs> start sucking the life out of some kids and she became hot. <laughs> Okay, now we're talking. Now, much better. All right. Yeah, that's all right. All right. A little, little, you know, you did a little uh, switcheroo in the beginning there. 
had me fooled, but yeah. Now that that's the hocus pocus that I know that's right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna give this movie some credit because I was surprised at how much this was set up as a horror movie for kids. I didn't yeah. know I did not know this movie was as dark as it is. Uh, I didn't know that the that these witches were as evil as they were. Oh, that they were actually killing the kids. Yeah, to, 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 they're killing young. people in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I I, I I saw the poster for this, and I always thought, you know, they look wacky. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, you know what? It looks like a Disney Channel original movie. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I always thought that they were. I thought they were. I thought they were the good guys. I thought they would just have. <laughs> are if they were. Are they were. If they were wicked witches, they I were thought, misunderstood. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Or I thought, oh, well, they just doing mischief. <laughs> you know, they just, they're just out there doing, you know, light dirt. They ain't really, you know, they ain't really out there doing it. You know, they ain't doing it rough. Right, right. Halfway right. point. If, if these ignorant villagers would just leave them alone. Yeah. 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 And I thought that's what it was. I thought they misunderstood. I thought, you know, the villagers, you know, the villagers, like they do witches, they killed them and they came back and just, you know, start playing pranks. Mm-hmm. You know, I, <laughs> pranks. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Man, I didn't know they went hard, man. You know, I was like, God damn. I did not know because they were all over the posters smiling. Smiling? Yeah, I did not know that they that that they were that they were they were that they were that dark man. Malicious. That they, they were that malicious. I didn't know that they they I didn't know that they that their plans were that were that were that evil. Mm-hmm. They kidnap a girl, the l- little sister. This guy named what Thackeray Binks. Yeah, is that yeah that old Thackeray Binks and Tha- Thackeray jumps into the 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 witch's lair that their home. He he jumps in and breaks in to save her. Not, okay, that right there is dark. I like the way uh, uh, Thackeray came in and said, I don't give a f- about this being a Disney movie. <laughs> I'm about to, I'm about to uh, uh, d- d- kill these bitches, right? I'm about to boil them. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, that right there, even, I even thought like, Jesus, man, I didn't know that the movie was gonna go, it was gonna go off like this. They took uh, Thack- Thackeray's little sister and I thought, okay, well, she, truly he saved her at the, you know, in the nick of time. Before they sucked their ass dry, boy, was I, was I, was was I wrong? They was that's where they're sucking the soul out of her. I watched that right there. Yeah, her soul is made of Botox. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, okay, you know what? He's he's gonna come in just in time, and she's fading. But then, you know, they're gonna start. <laughs> it's gonna get all sucked back in, and she's gonna get her color back and everything. Shh. She is. She was dead as well. What did they say that uh, uh, Paul Fish? She was dead as fried chicken back there. <laughs> We're young. <laughs> well, younger. I knew she was dead when she her, when her hair went all gray. Uh huh. I looked at her back there. She wasn't moving. She wasn't saying nothing. I was like, oh shit, they actually killed her. Yeah, she gone. Yeah. She, yeah. Like if you would go over there and, and like lift her head up, she looked like that chick <laughs> from the ring. <range>, you know? <laughs> You know, they're pushing the horror more, uh, even with the, uh, they show a lot of stuff in this movie that I didn't think they, they would show in a so-called family film. I don't care how much about Halloween it is. Uh, I was surprised when they actually uh, hung the witches yeah. in here. Now, I did actually see that on TV a long time ago. I forgot. It's in the TV version. All yeah. Together. No, it is. No, and I, and I, I forgot I'd seen that. And, you know, this, this is a reminder of just, again, how hard this movie was willing to go and push it for a family film. When all Halloween, when the moon is around, a virgin was Like, shut the yeah. What's taking so like, long? Yeah. Can somebody pull this rope already? Are you gonna, are you gonna pull this shit or what? I'm tired of hearing this I'll shit. Hear what they have to say. I want to monologue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you find out what happened to Thackeray in a little bit. Show me mine! Now, if they really wanted to go hard, they show shit coming down their oh, legs. Right. <laughs> Shit Piss, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna. I, I'm not gonna tell the story because if you've seen the movie, you know the story with this. You know these witches do come back because they they you know they 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 set a spell right before they died and they come back to continue what they're doing, which is sucking children dry yeah. to keep them youthful. But we cut to modern times, and again, if you know the movie, then you know you heard me talk about how I thought the witches were actually the main characters in the you know the in the fun, whimsical uh, good guys in this. Uh, if you know the movie, you know the main character is actually a, a kid named Max, high school student named Max, who is right here. And they fooled me with Max, actually. They do 
a lot of action, uh, 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 a bunch of bait and switching in this movie right here. Switcheroos. <laughs> Switch these switcheroos here. Cause I thought, I thought Max was cool, man. <laughs> Max thought he was cool. Yeah. yeah he did. You know, Max just moved to Salem. He's from LA and he, uh, and he's seeing everyone with uh, they're all into the, the this uh, this this witch stuff. Even the teacher that you see right here, the teacher who who loves to talk down to people, loves to make fools out of people if they don't believe in this crazy witch stuff that they do in Salem. We seem to have a skeptic in our midst, Mr. Dennison. Would you care to share your California laid back tie dye <laughs> point of view? You lippy hero, you, you, you hippie liberal freak. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm the new kid and you're already alienating me in front of everybody. Yeah. Awesome. The 90s, that's what yeah. <laughs> well, he's running his mouth anyway. So. He's being a little sarcastic. If he was, first day, you know, he's a new kid in class. If he knew anybody, he would have shut his goddamn mouth. So I loved it when Max was like, you know what, let me cut the bullshit. Well, y'all are. Yeah, back here acting like a bunch of superstitious inbreds. I'm going to sit up here and show y'all how a West, Coast, a West Coast player really does it. In case Jimi Hendrix shows up tonight, here's my number. Yeah, I like the way he's pimping in the classroom and the teacher ain't saying shit. Now, if he was saying something about Halloween, she'd be all on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got about you, sweet cheeks. <laughs> my backup. Yeah. Thing is, I thought Max was a player. It turns out that Max is actually kind of a dumbass too, man. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought Max. I thought Max actually had some game, man. Max. Again, they fooled me with Max. Check a treat. Huh? <laughs> Max is <are> like, bitch. <laughs> but it's Max, my number. Oh. Yeah, I, I like Max. You could you could just hear Max's ego just shattering right now. Yeah, I like Max. You didn't see that coming. You just <laughs> hey, well, may, maybe she memorized it already. <laughs> <laughs> it was the exact same piece of paper you gave to her, and you didn't see that shit at all. And Max is kind of a creep too, because Max. So Max, he, 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 you know, he he totally uh, bombed and failed at that one, man. But Max goes home and he grabs his pillow after being shot down. He's like, shit, I ain't gonna stop old Max. <laughs> <laughs> shit, Max still got his imagination. So Max goes home and grabs that pillow and just starts making love to it, fantasizing about Allison. Oh, Allison. You're so soft. Just wanna put your dick back in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> little sister just lurking on his ass. <laughs> That's probably where I have a problem with the movie. These 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 characters are a little, a little, uh, a, a, a little. Uh, I don't know how you broad. Would, uh, broad. I was gonna say annoying, but broad, broad had to, yeah, broad. These characters are very broad, very over the top. These okay. characters are exaggerated, a little bit, a little bit. You know, everyone is weird. I mean, I already, like I said, even the the, the adults in this town teach is crazy as hell. Who might make the witches come back to life? <laughs> Man, that's a fun teacher. I like just throwing shit at kids. Yeah, she's fun when she's not throwing shit at you. <laughs> I, I mean, that girl's terrified. Look at she's her. into it. <laughs> <laughs> caught her ass. You know what? She probably caught her ass slipping. Right? <laughs> she's probably over asleep. She probably ain't that bad. She probably sleep. That, that chick is probably a problem. That chick is probably fall asleep every day in class. She's like, all right, I got something for you. Get your ass up. <laughs> And you're like, oh, oh my eye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was crepe paper. It got me right in the corner. <laughs> you know, so the teacher is crazy, but even the even the bullies in this town are, are lo just a little crazier than your average movie bully. Let's have a butt. Uh, no thanks, I don't smoke. They're very health conscious in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that Salem meth must be good. Right? <laughs> This is what I mean by over the top. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. This, yeah, is, that, this, this is where you say, it ain't that goddamn That funny. was about to say, what I tell you earlier, Chris, 
It ain't that goddamn funny. This is in Los Angeles. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, They're like sense. Balkan Skull from Power Rangers. That's what I always thought. They really are. Yeah. And, and they really must be on something because they can barely form sentences when they're talking. I'm Jay. This is Ernie. Me bully. <laughs> <laughs> me, me take sneakers. <laughs> Can we get a second take on that? No. <laughs> no. This ain't that kind of movie. <laughs> no, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me, Jake, I'm bully. <laughs> <laughs> even the even the uh, the parents are kind of annoying in a way. Are, 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 are kind of goofy. I, I don't know what's going on the with them. They don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they are. There's a lot of people in this movie. Yeah, they're true. They just don't. Yeah, they 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 barely look like they're into parenting. What about you, Max? What are you supposed to be? A rap singer. Oh, well, your hat should be on sideways. Don't now. touch me, old man. <laughs> So I thought Max was gonna be an asshole too. You know, Max the dumbass, he ain't got no game. So I thought Max was going to be, uh, once I saw he's treating his sister played by Thor Birch, I thought he was just, okay, this, this, I'm not gonna like this guy at all. You just humiliated me in front of half the guys at school. So collect your candy and get out of my life. Damn, that's cold, Max. Even for a big brother to say to his little sister, he didn't want to do it anyway, I get it, but he ain't got to talk to that girl like that. So I thought the movie was gonna be just him whining and being shitty to his sister, and that, you know, at some point near the end, then they would get along. They'll make yeah. up. They'll, they'll make up, yeah. Um, and turns out that later on in the movie, he's not actually, he's not, he's not a bad guy. Let me see if I can actually, because I didn't get the clip of that. He's actually, uh, he's actually pretty nice to his, uh, to his little sister. This is immediately afterwards he goes yeah, to her. Store. Yeah, exactly, immediately after he goes to her and like he, he apologizes, man. But I hate this place. I miss all my friends. First of all, Thor Burt's about to drop some knowledge on his ass, she, but she's the adult here. I want to go home. Well, this is your home now, so get used to it. Charlie Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Even he's like, shit, she's right. <laughs> God damn. I love how she's like, I want to hit this shit yeah. no more. I'm just trying to get some candy, <laughs> and you being a bitch. Give me one more chance. Why should I? Because I'm your brother. <laughs> oh, I can't stay mad at you, Max. Yeah, I, I, after that, I was like, you know what? He he Max really is, is all right. Yeah. Max is likable. There's more man. to him. There's more to him. Yeah, I was like he he is likable, man. Plus, if you do stop and think about it from his point of view, like when he's mentioned, like, wow, I don't have my friends. And they may, I mean, you get a lot of these shows where, man, mom and dad made me move, and I hate it. But with his plight, I was like, well. You are moving to kind of a hick town that's yep. extreme. Yes. You got personal bullies <laughs> that are just coming up on you all. Lame personal bullies, too. Yeah. All your stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I mean, like I said, bullies used to just kind of, I'm going to even put on this clip right here. I, I wasn't going to play this, but bullies, now they ain't exactly Stephen King bullies, but <laughs> no. You know, they didn't, they didn't, they they didn't, they, they, they didn't take Max and Carb, you know, then like then the ice and, <laughs> and Jake into his stomach and shit. <laughs> 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 I hate it. <laughs> He's bleeding to death. <laughs> I hate it here. I miss my friends. I was, oh, Jesus. To me. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> yeah, they but they are they all kind of rough, man. We don't get any smokes from you. We don't get any cash. What am I supposed to do with my afternoon? Go see a speech therapist about that list, bro. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Get the f my face. I don't know. Go find a better barber. <laughs> take a, take your take your pick. Maybe you could learn to breathe through your nose. <laughs> you with this goddamn laugh, man. All right. I would gladly give you anything you want if you stop. Yeah, if I was here, I look to Ice. You're like, man, I know y'all gonna beat me up, but this guy, yeah, come on, Ice, you can do better than this man. <laughs> Check out the new cross trainers. Cool. Damn, they were rubbing on him like they were about to rape him. Later, Seven minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you get home, you know, the parents, that's what I mean by the parents. I don't have that clip, but the parents are kind of like, hmm, came home in socks. They even asked what happened. <laughs> yeah. where, 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 where are your shoes that we spent our hard earned money yes. on? Where are those hundred dollar shoes yeah. that you just had to have? My favorite character though, out of all this has to be that damn cat, man. Which is <laughs> the cat. That cat boy. <laughs> which is the Thackeray who's turned into a cat by the witches. Just like this. No! Oh, 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 oh
way the, the effects budget ran out. They could not show him turn into a cat. They had to do it off screen with oh, but the sound design. Oh, the sound. <laughs> oh, was Rick Baker busy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, use your imagination, kids. You know, it's much more horrible what's going on in your mind than what's happening here. <laughs> you had to do this to me. I was childish. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, you know, I I, I I like this character. I like this cat because this cat just made me laugh every time the character was on screen. Uh, cat is one of the best actors in the movie. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, talk, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the animal, right, the cat. Right. No, you ain't lying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, I don't. I, that, that cat needs to be in an action movie because they got that cat to do everything. They got that cat to do his own stunts. Uh, that cat, a cat. I, I love how they got that. You know, you know, cats not the easiest thing to train. I don't know how they got this tech, this cat to attack people like it's doing. But that cat does this several times in the movie. <laughs> Man, he, Max, he, they didn't tell that actor that that, that cat was coming. <laughs> and I love the way there's there are moments here. Where people just have to fight a fake cat that's <laughs> on them, a rag doll, a plushie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy, they got Max good. That cat says, I'm gonna get your ass. <laughs> what the you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> that cat's about to choke him out, man. <laughs> I think it's funny too. This is another, I just love this cat, man. I just love this cat in this movie because this cat. That darn cat. Yeah, man, it, there's moments where they just use a dummy. And you know, I cause I love, I love dummies in movies, man. But uh, cats are funny. Mm -hmm. Because you know, dummies and they flop all over the place. Sure. But there's moments where they fling this cat. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> the cat goes. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, it twirls in the yeah, air. Curls, right? it spirals, yeah, curls. Yeah. She flung that cat like nunchucks, she, she man. Did. She did. You did. Did that twirl? <laughs> uh, there's another version of this cat, and uh, I, I like it. But I like it because it's badly written and it makes me laugh. <laughs> it's <laughs> you know, come on now. No, I know. It's man, it's flawed. I know that. Because the cat <laughs> <It's> flawed. <yeah. laughs> Boy, the, the thing is, this cat can talk. I know. Oh yeah. And they 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 didn't think it through really, the idea here. Mm -hmm. Now for one, I just I just laugh because this cat. This cat dr talks with this dramatic accent. Because of me, my little sister's life was stolen. They're like, forget the talking cat. What accent is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. It's a Salem accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, if you live back in 1693, that's what it sounds. Yeah, new, new, newly arrived from England. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then it's a, it's a bad British accent yeah. then. <laughs> the actor, when he was human, he was overacting anyway. She's done for. Not yet. You wake my father. Summon the elders. Go. Hey, 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 hey! Man, what are you pushing on, man? You can, you can just tell me. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Run and tell them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here's the main problem, man, with this talking cat. And maybe you notice this. Okay. You know, and, and, and I mean, even like in the movie, I'm not saying it's a big deal. You know, obviously people like this movie regardless, mm -hmm. but and okay, now maybe I missed something. Okay. But, so we have a talking cat. Correct. And this cat's talking to everybody that comes across. At least, well, not everybody. It's talking to the, to the three kids. Well, it's talking to the people that. Okay. So. You opened the book. Why'd you do that? Now okay. I'm going to tell so, you why. Now you got to deal with this problem. All right. Well, then I have a question. Yes. So, they didn't really set up any rules for when oh, this cat oh, talks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Corey. Okay, I'm talking about rules. Come on. I'm now. just, I just, I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, rules to Hocus Pocus. That's on you. I'm asking because if I say something, then people going to say I'm nitpicking. But, you keep picking. I'm going to keep, because I just want to make sure I didn't miss something because the cat, there's no rules for our, 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 our setup for how this cat talks to people. So, when well, the, they cursed him. Well, oh, but yes, but. Okay, so the cat can talk. Yeah. So the moment that Thackeray's turned into a cat, he runs over to his dad. Away! 
mucho eso. <risa> Away, beast. Beast, damn. Dad, it's me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Abomination! Yeah. Uh, beast! <laughs> I'd hate to see what you, what you look like when you see a lion yeah. <laughs> rolling up in there. You, know, you got a good point, Chris. <laughs> he talked to him. They yeah. would have killed you that kill cat. You would have killed him instantly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're scared of everything. Okay, that's what I thought. Torches in a hand woman, already. A woman has an opinion. Oh, she must be a witch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> wants this right now. Nip it in the butt. Oh, yeah. They, so they would have burned that cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would have yeah. killed him. Yeah. Okay. They didn't say that in the movie or anything, but you know. Well, you can you can you can price that out for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to, but it's <laughs> no, I, I'm not. Look, look, I, I'm not. I, I'm not one to overreach to find explanations that aren't there. Yeah, but that one seems clear. That was like, come on. yeah, or. He could have gone to the house and been like, Dad, look, you know, don't say shit, but it's me, all right? Oh, my God, you have the voice of my child. Yes. <laughs> you had to torture me. Yes. He's a cat. He can speak it. If it doesn't work out, he can run someplace else, you know? Like, Demon! Yeah. yeah, he could have, you know, he could have at least knocked on the window and be like, Dad, it's me. You know, something. He didn't even try. These people live in 1690. Exactly. <laughs> Cats been living for 300 years. They ain't talked to nobody except dumbass Max yeah, who showed up later. They would be horrified by him. They would have been like, we got to kill this thing. Yeah. Or he, but, he doesn't know, trust anyone anymore. But again, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't really buying it. I mean, yeah. if I have, if I have any. Max lit the candle. It's like, I, I got to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. 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 You did this. If anything. No, he's a he's protector of the candle. Yeah. yeah. And if yeah. anything, you know, it's, it's just like he's just. For a lot of the movie, he's just there to expose exposition. Yeah, I'm just yeah. Like, yeah. No, that's like, true. that's my criticism of him. Yeah, no, that that is true. Yeah, he's the guardian of the candle, mm -hmm. so he's there to just tell everybody what they need to know, and yep. that's including the audience. It's a plot device. No, I don't, I don't, I don't mind. I, listen, like I said, I don't mind the cat whole lot. I, I actually like the cat. Yeah, he's fine. He's I, cat is my favorite character. Yeah, you're cat. very affectionate towards. I'm surprised. Yeah, no, cat made me laugh. No, there's some flaws with the character. Like you say, he's just there to just build their exposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I do like the cat. Mm. Um, well, you don't like the cat? I like the cat. He's <laughs> fine. He's you sound like you don't like the cat. No, I like the cat. No, he's cool. He's I like people. I think I like better. Uh, well, I can tell you the character I like least. Uh, Allison. Oh. Uh, Van 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 Vanessa, uh, what's it? Van Vanessa Shaw. Uh, I just don't think, and I'm not saying she's a, she's a bad actress. Not at all. I just think the character was written where that, she, her reactions to all this is, it's like, is, is lackluster. Are just non existent sometimes. Mm -hmm. Wonder if it always was the jealous type. You're Thackeray Binks. Yes. She's like, wait a minute, you know him? You <laughs> left. <laughs> 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 so the legends are true. Well. You know, so the, you know, she's like, yeah. So the legends are true. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe I would have directed this better. Would have been like, oh my god, what, Max, what you got us into? But even because, yeah. and she does that through the whole movie. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That one part, I was like, all right, you know, I, I, you know, maybe she's in shock or something. I don't know. But later on, like, there's stuff that's happening, clearly happening. She's like, oh, this ain't no big deal. Nothing weird so far. <laughs> Nothing weird so far. The whole house just turned orange. <laughs> Maybe they don't see that. <laughs> oh, they, they were looking right at the book. What you talking about? They didn't see that. Uh, maybe only uh, see that. Maybe only <laughs> look at they look at right open the book and look at right at it. Nothing weird so far. Oh shit! So I feel like that 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 moment right there. It's like oh nothing weird so far. Then yeah, I yeah. think that's more like a that's a joke. I thought that was I read that. That's like oh it's comedy. It's yeah. subjective, I suppose. I, yeah. <laughs> You know, I get, hey, look, I'll, I'll make, you got you to you give it to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, sure, I got to give shit. I didn't know. I didn't know. I got to give shit. It's like, I think that's badly written. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's supposed to be funny, Corey. I'll give you respect. <laughs> that's about it. Respectfully disagree. I just don't okay. think that was, yeah, I, agree, I don't think that was edited that well right there. I don't no, think no, that was directed no, that either. well. I think, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my main problems with the movie is that it moves maybe a little bit too fast. Because it, it, it moves at a good pace. Hey, it's, it's very well paid. I think it's yeah. thing for things about it, honestly. No, I think it's it's an hour and thirty six minutes. You yeah. know, about an hour and thirty two if you take out the credits uh, uh, and credits. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, 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 you know, I think, but I think sometimes it might move a little bit too fast because all that stuff. I was, you know, I was asking you about because mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I, I I see what you're saying with some mm -hmm. of these things. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand. 
Uh, especially with the cat. Talking cat, yeah, they would have burned that cat at the stake back then. Yeah. I still think the cat should have done some shit, but you know. It's, <laughs> He's protecting it. Make sure no one fucked with it. You know, he could have he just, he could have wrote something, you know, a letter or something, you know. How? With what He's thumbs? a paw, he has paws. <laughs> Dip it in some mud or something and write on a leaf. I don't know. He, write on a leaf. He, he, leaf. <laughs> yeah. He could have communicated. Nah, you know, leaf communication. He could have communicated one way or another. It's a, it ain't your average cat. He's still a smart, the cat can, so he's he's protecting a candle. So yeah, he could have done I love something. All the things. <laughs> he could have he could have found some parchment or something and wrote. He could have he could have stolen an ink well or something, man. Yeah, yeah. It's a smart cat. I like this a regular cat. <laughs> I know, but you you have him do things he no cat can do. A cat, yeah. A, 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 cat, a, cat, a cat can't physically write a note. A cat can't physically talk. No, I know, but <laughs> just because he can talk doesn't mean he suddenly has m manipulation of he his digits. He can take one claw and write one letter at a time. He, he The cat can spell, the cat can talk. Okay, oh, how, does, can how does he get the top off the ink bottle? He still, he finds one that's already with a with an ink top off of it. He sneaks into a, he sneaks into somebody's home. Who's getting this letter, by the way? His dad. Okay, so the dad oh. gets the letter. He's like, I turned to a cat. <laughs> ah! <Yeah. laughs> I'm still the same problem. <laughs> Yeah, but he doesn't have to be around. He can leave. He can do. His th There's a way for this cat to communicate one way or another. Okay. Or you know, he kills something and writes it in blood. You know, he doesn't have to have an oh. inkwell. Yeah, People yeah, they, they, they love they that. Be at all frightened by a letter written in blood. And you know what? Here's the other thing. <laughs> if they did find the letter, the cat would be cool. They would kill the dad. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> there you go. It worked yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. <they> <laughs> I tell you what. Well, I would, now I will call something right here where I do think that they actually, uh, where they actually uh, uh, didn't think this through, and it's because of the business move too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so they have to. They got to bring back the witches. The witches can only be brought back through this cursed candle. The yeah. what they call the black flame. Black flame candle. Yeah. The black flame candle. Only for about twelve hours or so. Yeah. Made from the fat of a hangman. <laughs> Legend says that on a full moon, it will raise the spirits of the dead when lit by a virgin on Halloween night. Boy, he's throwing hints out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you want to keep these witches from coming yeah, back? Yeah. Somebody better have sex with me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you, hey, Allison, you want to say you want to save the you want to save the town? <laughs> he's looking eager too. Yeah, <laughs> he's looking right at her. Not too eager. The, the, you know the, the the candle is in a is in a museum. Mm -hmm. A museum in a town of Salem fanatics. Yes. A museum that's never been vandalized by these people. We respect their culture. We, we, they they ain't no culture. They, 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 they left all kind of shit in there. They left it. In that museum, they left all kind of merchandise and they left all the exhibits and everything. It's been there for a while. And with these crazy ass bullies, you mean these meth out bullies that they didn't actually go in and try to break into this place yeah. and do something? Well, they want to steal sneakers. They the, want to steal candles. I don't buy that shit <laughs> for another. But here's the thing. Yeah. So, you have this candle, this cursed candle mm. that the town believes in. That the only way witches can be brought back is if, if is if this candle is lit. So what's right by the candle? Found a lighter. Wow. Well, why don't you put a why don't you sell explosives by gasoline too? <laughs> I mean, you put a, you put a lighter right by the candle over there, which again is just an easy way to like listen. Y'all can sit up here because I know this is gonna be a game now. We're like, well, let's go ahead and go get this guy's opinion. But that right there, that that right there, that's a that's just bad writing right there. But and the reason why I say that is because that's just a convenient way to actually get the get the candle lit. Can I say something counter that doesn't go against your opinion? What's that? That the, the, all that butane in those lighters would have evaporated. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but Mark, now you're nitpicking, man. Uh, come on, man. It's true. We wouldn't have been able to live at all. Yeah. Now we're smoking yeah. matches, that would be no. real living. <laughs> yeah. So all that shit would have been. It's too convenient for them to get the candle lit, you know. But also, uh, it's product placement, you know. Yeah, Zippo, yeah. It, they definitely put some money in here. Uh, and I thought at first, I'm like, well, maybe that was just, uh, maybe somebody just like Zippo lighters, but the product placement in this movie is pretty strong. Um, and very blatant. Uh, they had the Seven Up cans in there, mm. and I like how they made sure you. That was the first thing you saw when Max opened up the uh, the cabinet. I mean, he slammed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> and may and, yeah, uh, and turn those labels turn, around. Every, <laughs> every one <can>. of them. <laughs> every one of them is turned around so you can see it. 
shit, when my man, he, he had a bag to put some stuff in that they stole to fight these witches. Make sure you saw there was a Nike bag right there. I hate it when movies and TV shows just stop to just blatantly sell you something sure. in the middle of it. By the way, HelloFresh actually has those fall recipes for you out there. People, time to cozy up and save money by cooking at home. And as I said, they do have recipes just for fall right here. You can say 25% <laughs> You can say 25% money as opposed to going to the grocery store. <laughs> I tell you why this is America's uh this is America's number one meal kit right here. Because for one, as I said, it is 25% cheaper than getting takeout and shopping at a grocery store. I don't even have to tell y'all about how it is when you go to a, a restaurant, how expensive that is. For those of you who want to try this out, you're saying, well, okay, I can save some money, but, and I bet it takes a long time to cook this, and I don't cook at all. And actually, that's not the case right here. You know, the thing is, they bring you these recipes that can be made in 20 minutes or less. These are farm fresh ingredients that are brought to you from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days. No, they have, uh, they have desserts. They actually have stuff now that, because I told you last time, you know, kids see y'all cooking and they want to cook too. And, and the parents are kind of like, no, I don't know, don't come in here because you'll burn down something. <laughs> mm -hmm. But they have meals that are actually available that kids can participate in and make on their own. Cool. You can actually see some of these kids down here making little Hello Fresh dinners and ingredients. <clears throat> if you want mostly meat and you just want a little bit of salad on there, you can do that too. Like a half and half. Or you can get, that's good, or you can get vegan. You don't have to have any kind of dairy or egg or honey in any of this at all. You even have coconut curry stir fry that you can get. All kind of stuff that's out there right now that they didn't have before that they're adding on all the time. Uh, pretty much 30 plus weekly recipes to choose from. And I actually got some downstairs and I'm cooking tonight after this is done. So just in case you think I don't ever use this, I actually asked for some, I paid for it myself because for one, my wife is coming back and we used to cook this stuff all the time. So it's almost be like a celebratory thing to cook with her. And furthermore, uh, I have been eating out a lot these last few weeks and I just wanna stay at home and cook something myself tonight. So you might see me posting pictures of that later on. Oh, uh, but if you wanna try this out right now yourself, then please, I got some for you right here that'll actually, now if you've been on the fence about this, this is what's gonna push you over. As if that wasn't enough, saving money, saving time, time is money, you can go to hellofresh.com slash doubletoasted65 and use the code doubletoasted65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's more than half, people. 65% off plus free shipping. I wanna thank HelloFresh for coming in and sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. I was talking about this earlier. I love the way the movie does horror for kids. Now, I will give respect for that. They, they get, a, I don't know how they get away with this. They get away with a lot in this movie. They, uh, you know, because there are things that they do here that today, if it was maybe for PG-13, but for kids movie, they wouldn't do it for that. Sure. They, you know, um, some of the stuff that they do here uh, it make this one of the things that this is why I understand that this is perfect for Halloween because they do a lot of things in here that make it perfect Halloween viewing. I mean, it has everything in here again, stuff that you wouldn't even be able to do today in a kid's movie. They got a zombie in here. What was the zombie's name? Billy. Billy. I like Billy because Billy is a, you know, the thing with Billy is that I like, uh, I like Billy. There's a lot of dismemberment with Billy in this. Uh, heads constantly falling off. Kids today be screaming their ass off if they saw that. The parents be talking about this movie, traumatized my kid. They be trying to ban this movie. I was surprised that many times they dismembered Billy. Uh, they have the scene where, where this Michael Jackson looking ass. He looks just like Michael Jackson in Thriller, don't Right, right, right. Uh, decomposing Edward Scissorhands. But he, I love the way when he's uh, like in that sewer part, car rolls over. <laughs> you know, in a way, this is kind of gore for kids. I guess so. Yeah. It's kind of gore light, you Evil know? Evil deadish. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually like that, man. But that's, that's comedic. That's funny. There's a part in here where they, there's a, for me, even as an adult, 
there's a really horrific scene in here where, oh. yeah, I don't know if you know what I'm talking I about. There's a horrific scene in here where they lure these witches. And I know they're the bad people in the movie. I know that they're not, I, I know that the bad guys and they must be they not, not just stopped, they must be destroyed. So there's a part where they lure them to a school and they pull them into this, I guess, crematorium Kill them. and burn them alive. I, again, I know they got it coming, but damn, a, 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 a kid's movie, a family film? <laughs> You know, the screaming and the flame, <laughs> and the way they're looking. Now, first of all, I don't know what a crematorium is doing in a high school. <laughs> it's a kiln. <laughs> it's a kiln. Okay. Yeah. It's a kiln. All right. Shit, it might as well be a crematorium, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. That, yeah, that right there, even for an adult, that's very dark. Respect the movie being able to go that far with that. I like that. Uh, this is where I, you know I can see where the, you know again people are, and maybe this is what happened back in the day. Maybe people thought it was too dark for kids. Maybe people thought that this was something that uh, you know that, that that went a little bit just too hard for kids. You know I don't know. I, I'm not saying that all the writing in here is great or everything, but watching this, I was like, man, you know me. If uh, if there's something that can introduce kids to horror and do it in an effective way that's not very cutesy, I'm behind it 100%, man. Uh, you know some of this is also horrific and could be traumatizing for kids. But I found it hilarious. There was a moment where there was this cat. That, well, that cat, that same cat that's in the movie. Uh, there's a moment where that cat got ran over, man. And was and I love the way the cat just looked like a cartoon line in the street. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> they, that cat looked like something out of Wally, Co Wally Coyote cartoon. They playing all that dramatic music right there. Oh, Mac and me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is where I would say, like, even as a, if, like, if I was a parent, I would even say, like, damn, that might, that's something that might traumatize my kid. The, the cat came back, of course, later on. There's also this point in the movie where uh, Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker, man, like, the movie's got a lot of creep factor to it, too. Once you know that these witches are serious and they ain't fucking around these kids, man. <laughs> no, because, the, the, like, uh, they got that part where Sarah Jessica Parker's in the sky. She's singing this, if the song is creepy itself, but the song is meant to hypnotize these kids and bring them out. And, you know, once you know that these, these witches are all about eating these kids, that makes it a lot more sinister. It's all sexual too and yeah, everything. Like, can, can, can you lean down? Yeah, yeah that more? corset yeah. just boom. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'm expecting that broomstick to ejaculate at him right there. I, I feel like the thing about the movie that has aged the best is the, the three main performances of, of you know Bette Midler and Sarah Jessica Parker and, and Kathy Najimy and you know the, they, they seem like they're having the most fun out of a anybody. Um, I really get the sense that they, they love playing these characters and yeah the musical number I think is great and how they interact with modern day technology where I feel like that could be really trope and kind of try I, it works for me for the most part the energy that these women show playing this part is something that sells it too I mean I think it's a combination because I yeah. think def, you know definitely it's, this is a memorable movie because kids love this man you know they, for one thing the kids aren't being they're not being coddled and talked down to and being you know treated you know too, too tenderly and I think there's a maybe I don't love this movie as much as uh, some of these kids do Again, I saw this as an adult. Yeah. But I will say that they appreciate, you know, a movie that doesn't, uh, that doesn't hold back on them, that doesn't feel like it's got to protect them so much. You know, there's something that's kind of edgy they got on their own. And that combined with exactly what you said, that you got uh, Bette Midler and, and Sarah, Jessica Sarah Jessica Parker, Parker and, 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 and Kathy and, and Jimmy. Yeah, they, they, you, can, you can tell that they love playing this. You know, I mean, they, they, look, they came back 30 years later to do it. But uh, when they're not, you know, sucking kids dry and, and, and being evil and just being bitches all around, they, you know, they're actually a lot of fun. Right them black people. <laughs> <laughs> they're in Salem. <laughs> they better get the hell out. <laughs> Too late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hop back on the tour bus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the... the the creepiest thing about this is probably how, you know, even more than the witches themselves and how they just, you know, taking kids' souls is just how pervy they are at times. Or at least Sarah Jessica Parker. I, you know, I, now there's some things I don't, I don't know how they actually get away with in this movie. Uh, 
you know, after everything that I've mentioned, you know, after all the, the heads falling off bodies and right. fingers and all that kind of stuff and burning pe- people alive. Uh, I will ask you this. Uh, the kid that got turned into a cat, is he a teenager? Yes. Thackeray, yeah. Thackeray, yeah. So it was just weird to me that Sarah Jessica Parker, the moment she saw him with the other two witches talking about, yeah, let's broil him and fish fry him and all that kind of stuff, she's like, nah, I want to. Let's barbecue and filet. Hang him on a hook and let me play with him. No. She'll get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I know you're you a like, witch, but you damn old. You too damn old for that. This is how we got in trouble before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the 1690s, man. They were marrying off people at 12. That's true. <laughs> yeah, That's she, true. Was, she would be an old maid. Yeah, yeah. 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 She would be too old. Yeah. Yeah, he would have been in his prime. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. Thing is, uh, it, it's it's mostly Sarah Jessica Parker. She's the real hoe in the situation, man. She's the real hoe of the troop. Uh, like at that party that they have, the Halloween party. Yeah. She's uh, over there just making out with random dudes. Shut up! And now you're mine. She's like, wait, 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 wait hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderella, where you going? <laughs> I like the way and Brett Bette Miller is so good in this. I like the I like her in this part. She's like always trying to get some dick. Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be immortal. You got plenty of time for that. You know, even we already saw this part. We were talking about this before we started the show. Even like with that bus driver, man. They oh, got a no. bus driver. She grinding on and giving a lap dance too while they're driving. Hey, Buttercup. Anybody ever tell you you very easy on the eyes? <laughs> <laughs> you know the dig is hard. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, for sure it is. Every time that bounces, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's riding another broomstick. Yeah. Right yeah. Every time they hit a bump. <laughs> <laughs> they make a big deal about Max being a virgin. Yeah, they movie. sure do. They do. They I mean, they rub that shit in his face. They yeah. do. His sister. Yeah. <laughs> Him and his sister. Yeah, and and. And it's not that they just rub it in his face. I mean, they almost like shaming him for being a virgin. Yeah. Are you a virgin? Yeah. Really? Look, he like slipping people and fuck with me all night, okay? <laughs> Got things to do. That's not what's important here. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like they're shaming Max, which in a way is just encouraging kids to have sex. Uh huh. You want to be like Max. You, you want to be like this loser. Yeah. Dude. This is why I said, and I know, I'm curious to see what Martin thinks about Hocus Pocus too. This is why I said that I think a lot of this edgy stuff is the reason why this movie works. Yeah. No, because that. if you pull that, if you pull that out, you have just a. If, if you pull that out, you got a typical Disney movie. Yeah. No, it's a Disney Channel original. Movie. Yeah. It. You know. It, it. It's because of that. Because so many of people in my generation, I. I was watching Disney Channel original movies, and when I saw this. I was like, this one feels very different than the other ones. Because mm-hmm. I saw this on the Disney Channel, uh, thinking it was one of those typical movies. Sure. Like, oh shit! No, this got a theatrical release and everything. I was like, oh okay, okay. And so I think yeah. that's yeah, that's one of the big reasons yeah. why it kind of stands the test of time for me. Yeah. Why it stands out for me. Yeah. No, and I, I can see that. No, I, 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 you know, I don't know how. I don't know if any of the critics from back in the day came in and changed their minds about this. Me having hadn't hadn't seen it back in the day. Uh, it definitely feels a lot different from any kind of family or children's movie we get now. Like I said, I don't think they would get away with a lot of this stuff. No, not at all. Uh, and the and, and the ending is kind of dark in its own way. They try to make it a happy ending, but it's it's really not when you think about it. Uh, the ending's kind of weird. The, the ending is weird too, man. Uh, so at the end of the movie, which I'm just gonna go over real quick, you know, you got this. First of all, this big ass sun that comes out, and apparently these witches are like werewolves or, or vampires. <laughs> but like vampire, they can't take the sun, you know. So uh, the sun comes out and, the, and it kills them. And Bette Miller has this weird scream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it was like last gasp of life, Lee Winner. That's what it was. Okay, with that, I was so confused. I was like, okay, well, you only got to live for what, 12 hours, and then you go away. But then she turned to stone. I was like, oh, well, where was this part of it? It when you're in the graveyard. Oh, okay. Oh. And when she, she can't go on hollow ground. Okay. Okay. They establish that in the movie. And when she does the call, she's calling for the book. One last call for the book. Okay. I like the way she went out, man. She yeah, just accepted goodbye. it. Yeah. Hey, it's cool. I had, you know what? Because she was having the most fun yeah. while they were there. 
There he is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> so they do that, and uh, I love this. Uh, I love this slow mo meow that the, the one one last meow that that Thackeray gives. And dead. Yeah, I thought that. I didn't know he was laying down. Yeah. I know Marvin remember this. You mean that Mary Tyler Moore logo? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, now, thing with that is that when they killed the witches, and I'm sure Thackeray is a uh, he appreciates it. But when they did that, they actually killed Thackeray. Well, he wants to die. Yeah, he wa- Yeah, that's a, that's so a, he says I want to die. That's the dark thing about it. He, yeah, Thackeray been a long, been alive so long. He's like. I'm ready to go. I, plus, I've been a, I'm a I've cat. Been, I'm, yeah. I'm a cat. <laughs> it's not great. I, I don't, I don't want to cats. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bar of penis. <laughs> I didn't ask for this shit. I mean, I, and the I'm thing not attracted is, to cats. What can I say? When that, when that, when Thackeray died, all the air went out that cat. He yeah. just flat. Yeah. <laughs> He's like an inflatable bed yeah, on yeah. mattress. It's the same cat they used earlier in the movie. Yeah. It's the same one. I bet it was. I bet it was. It's flat infl- a little bit more. The inflatable cat. Yeah, yeah. He just blew the plug out of it. I wanted to stick a bicycle pump up his ass. Yeah, not all. Long. Long, but yeah. yeah. Flat enough. Flat enough. <laughs> no, Thackeray, you can live. <laughs> yeah. Get that my ass. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a this is a, a a really dark ending, man. Because uh, Thackeray, Thackeray is like, yeah, you know, I mean, I know they try to make it nice, but Thackeray is like, I they, they killed Thackeray when yeah. they killed the witches, and Thackeray is like, I'm cool with that because I've been wanting to die for so long. Thanks. Is that you? Yeah. You freed me, Danny. Thank you. Hey, Max. Off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I do? <laughs> you still a bitch for bringing yeah. it back. <laughs> it's like Thackeray dies, and his sister's like, "Where the hell you been? I've been waiting three hundred years for you." Yeah, just, just there to she's, take been, him away. she's been in purgatory this whole time. Well, maybe just awesome. just waiting for Thackeray, man. Mm-hmm. And you know they make it a they give it a nice they give it a nice. Uh, uh, a nice heartwarming ending. I shall always be with you. When you, when you turn 18, I'm going to be back now. Ooh! Damn, you're right. She is so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they must have wow. showed her pictures of those cats you were talking about that got ran over. No. <laughs> like, no one else is crying except her. Yeah. <laughs> I even gave them the big, the, the big drums at the yeah, end. Yeah, swell. The orchestra. I had to wait three hundred years for a virgin to light a candle. There she God, you're talking damn. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He said it loud enough for the rest of them to hear too. Playing them drums. I wish, I wish that shit went <laughs> <laughs> I wish I went up another minute. Yeah. <laughs> Please! <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. It's, a, again, like the very ending right there, man, I was not even like, when you think about it, not not the happiest of endings, you know? No, I mean, it's Melcom. No, it's it, it all worked out. Yeah. But it worked out. No, but... No, you're not everyone gets to live. So no. That's what the people, they, they have to move on. Next plan yep. of existence. People was destroyed. Especially people who were dead already. Yeah. 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 Or a cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, again, a lot of respect for the movie. thought it's, uh, there were some things that could have been done better. You know, I thought it could have been written a little bit tighter, but it made up for it in all of the, uh, the non-pandering that it did to kids out there. Uh, really liked where this, uh, where this actually went. It's a cute film, but at the same time, I feel like it is a gateway movie for children into other horror films. Hmm. You know, I feel yeah. like it, 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 yeah. it succeeds yeah. in more mature things. You know, as 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 you're, as you're growing up and you're experiencing different things, this movie kind of introduces you to those things in certain terms and how people act around each other. I was like, oh, it's getting where a lot of Disney Channel original films just didn't do that. Uh, it's not that it went too far; it's that it found a balance in those things. 
it still managed to find a pill for a children's movie. You yeah. know, it's it's not trying to be something that it isn't. You know, it's still it's still a kids movie. No, very much so. And yeah. and it works very it still works very much on that level. You know, it's, they, they knew how to actually pre- they know how to present the 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 dark parts with enough fun and enough uh, humor to where you know they're not they're not trying to terrify kids. No. You know, while not well written in some parts. It definitely was, if it makes sense, was uh, was definitely well put together. I see where kids love this, man. Yeah. You know, there was a moment where I was kind of like, yeah, you little dumbass, you know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you yeah. what you should and should not like. Well, you know, when I was young, I, I can admit a lot of stuff I liked. When I look at it now, I go, Yeesh. Oh, yeah. Oh. But, you know, you yeah. didn't know no better. Yeah. For me, that's everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, I realized when I grew up, I was living a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 